Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add personalizations in your emails in MailerLite. So, for example, if you ever get emails that come through that say, hey, Shelley, um, or whatever your first name is, I'm going to show you in MailerLite how you can do that um, because it just makes the emails that you're sending out that little bit more personal. So what you want to do, of course, is go into MailerLite. This new version of MailerLite, there's still the classic version, but whatever version you're on, you want to go to create campaign and you're going to be sending out a regular campaign. Um, so I'm just going to call this one sample for now, obviously just as it's a demonstration. Save and continue. Subject line. Now, again, this is brilliant because you can actually insert personalization into the subject line. So imagine how cool it is when you actually get an email and your, your name is actually in that subject line. So um, I can write just for you. Um, and then if you insert personalization and you put name, that will immediately, whenever this email sends, it will just go just for you and then whatever the recipient's name is. Um, so of course, from there, we can go to content and the same principle works in the email. So I'm just gonna do a drag and drop editor just to show you briefly how it's done. So delete all of this because I need any of this um, but so let's just say for example we are going to drag over some text so we have text on the side and we're going to drag it over and put it into our email and we want to start the email with so we go over to the over to the right we go hey and then you need to insert personalization and this is where you do it across here so you have all the different options so it's called variable on here not personalization and um, so you click on the little button and then you can just put in whatever you want so it's name um, you don't tend to have to put anything else in uh, but it's just name and then you continue with your email so of course if you're referring to them um, you may see um, that if you're writing kind of like a sales email which works quite well you can add in you know once you've written your text does this sound good to you you and then again you can insert the name question mark so you can use it more than once in the email but that's how it's done and once you've written your email of course you would just save the text done it's in you would save that email and then you would send that email off or you would schedule it um, so I hope that that helps. Um, as always any questions please do post them in the comment and please do like and subscribe.